this is Mark Chip and Mueller from the NAB show floor. It's 2012. We have another exciting NAB. And I'll be telling you some of our new stuff for the Alexa. We're starting out with a new Alexa model we're introducing. This is called the Alexa Plus 4x3. It is essentially an Alexa Plus that is using the same 4x3 sensor that we have in the studio and in the M, and it has all the licenses included. So we have the anamorphic D squeeze license, we have the high speed license, and the DNX HD license included in the Alexa Plus. Now, in addition to the Alexa Plus, we now have functioning Alexa Studio here at the show floor. Last year, we showed a wooden model. In December, we started shipping the cameras. They are now on a lot of sets. Roger Deakins is shooting the new Bond movie called Skyfall with it. It's on The Lone Ranger. It was on World War Z with Rob Richardson. A lot of movies are using the Alexa Studio, and the DPs really appreciate the optical viewfinder, as well as the 4x3 sensor area. Another thing that's great about the Alexa Studio, we have something technically called a slidey thingy. It's a little slider that sits between the mirror shutter and the sensor, and what that does is it allows us to put an ND filter in front of the sensor without making the optical viewfinder darker. Now another Alexa model we're showing here that we will start shipping in May is the Alexa M. The Alexa M is an Alexa chopped into two pieces. There's a front head and a body connected with a fiber optic cable that can go up to one kilometer, and that's a great camera for 3D, a great camera for Steadicam for handheld, a great camera for putting a camera in the car where you don't have a lot of room, great cam camera for helicopter shots. We have a video on the internet that shows you all the different uses for the Alexa M. I'd encourage you to go and take a look at that. We're shipping the Alexa Studio already. The Alexa Plus, as well as the Alexa M, will start shipping next month in May. In the future, though, we have a roadmap for the updates for the Alexa because we want to support the existing Alexa. There are five models out there right now. They're all very popular. They're all selling very well. We're very happy campers. But we want to make sure that these cameras stay viable for a long time, so we have new software updates planned. First of these upgrades will come probably in the summer, and that includes a new debayering algorithm that'll get you even better, even sharper images from the Alexa. It also includes, and I think that's very exciting, a ProRes 2K option. This means you can record a 2K image directly onto the SPS cards in the Alexa. And that works in 16 by 9, 2048 by 1152, and also in 4 by 3, where you have 2048 by 1536. If you're going to shoot a feature film, of course, we would always recommend to shoot with Arri Raw. But if you can't afford that, of course, then you can shoot with a ProRes 2K in 16 by 9 or 4 by 3. We're planning to introducing DNX HD 444, the best, highest quality DNX mastering format. We're going to have the option of flipping the image upside down, so Steadicam operators can simply flip their rig upside down if they need a low shot. And we're going to have something called Post Trigger, which allows us, we're always recording onto the SPS card, and when you hit the record button, we're actually going to be capturing five to 50 seconds before you hit the record button. And it's five to 50 seconds depending on your frame rate and what codec you're using. There are other exciting thing, things we have planned for the Alexa in 2012 and well into 2013. And that's it from the show. Thank you very much.